Hey everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. So this episode we're going to be doing Castle Soul. Uh, now first thing you want to do when you come in here, there's two of these guys. We want to take them out then we're just going to rest of the grace. Um, just because they don't respawn and it's easy to start. Uh, easier to start this area off with a uh, full flask. Alright, so one down. Then we got this dude. Give you a Somber 7, Beast Blood, and an Old Fang. And same for him. Alright, so from here we're just going to go back out, rest at the Grace, and then come back in. It's been a long time since prep work, so uh, I hope I'm remembering all this right. Uh, so from memory, we don't really go up these staircases directly ahead of us. Got a golden rune 10 here. Let's switch out to my curse holds. Uh, checking for items. Alright, we'll go down and grab this item here. Now, this is eventually going to be our shortcut back to the boss. So, I mean, it's no drama. Coming through here, we have a whole bunch of slugs. A nascent butterfly. And a ladder. Uh, I'm getting my bearings for a second, grab the fan daggers, that's where we need to go. Oh, okay, so this part here, there's a whole bunch of, um, whole bunch of crap, so I'm actually going to pull out a shield for this. Uh, let's get rid of you and put on the brass shield, there we go. That's better. Okay, there's a whole bunch of, uh, I guess, ballistas. Um, here, so you just want to run, ignore this dude, and then they're going to be shooting you from this direction, they explode by the way, and they're going to be shooting from our left, so you really just want to get over here, take this guy out if you can, this can be a really challenging area, so just be careful, yeah, there we go, so he's out, Once you get down the bottom here, he shouldn't be able to hit you. Alright, we got him out of the way. Where did he go? I'm just going to break this ballista just in case. Ah, oh, there you go, he's still there. Normally I wouldn't care about, you know, these ballistas at all, but I mean, if an enemy gets back on them, you're pretty much screwed. So uh, let's just get rid of those for now. Checking we didn't miss anything. Don't think we did. Um, right, okay, so come down the ladder. And we have a painting. So, next shortcut we get, we're going to go grab that stuff. Uh, for the most part, we have dogs. And bats. Not bats, birds. Ooh. These things are horrible, man. Um, so, where do we go from here? Let's go this way. So take the, the south. 
And this is our route back to um, the main gate. So this is what I said when, uh, this is what I meant when we would be coming back doing a full loop. So that's our shortcut. Um, from here I'm just going to go get that painting before I forget about it. It is uh, on, which bridge is it on? I'm pretty sure it is, let's see, Hermit Merchant, there's Corin. I'm pretty sure it's this bridge here. Uh, so what we're going to do is take the Snow Valley Ruins Outlook. And I believe this is the final painting we need to get as well. So, I can't remember if there's any giant skeletons here anymore. I think there is. Oh, maybe not. The mariner took him with him. Oh, no, I lied. I can hear one. There he is. Okay, and the portrait should be on one of these things. Is it this one? Nope. Not this one. Not this one. Oh, uh, he's right over there. If I had looked. All right, here he is. Okay, and we got the Great Hood. So get rid of that. We're going to go back to Castle Sol. I'm pretty sure that's the last painting. Uh, anyways, following through here. Going to have to tackle those dogs again, but that is fine. Um, yep, shield may just come in handy for this area, so I'm just going to keep that on. Okay, so we are going to continue straight ahead. Ooh, I hate these birds. Right, there's a lot of ghostly enemies in this area, so just be aware of that. I feel like there's a page knight somewhere around here. Maybe not. Okay. This guy. We have this guy. And then we have a really strong one coming up these stairs, um, as well as an archer. So I would probably recommend using the Bloodhound's Fang and fighting this guy on the stairs. Just so the archer can't get you. Alright, and he's out. That's not a guaranteed drop for the record. Alright, we got the uh, Thorfrost boluses. And for those of you wanting a grace, come through here. And we have the grace. Now, I'm not going to rest at that right now. Uh, what you do want over here, though, is this thing. It is a uh, Eclipse Shuttle. Yeah, so a curved sword that will go around shields. Uh, I believe that's one of the legendary armaments, so you don't want to miss out on that. Um, from here, though, we are going to go uh, up there, up these stairs. So just backtracking a little bit. Golden Rune 10, he dropped Exile Armor. Uh, I think that's it, we could have really come here originally, that's fine. Um, again, this will lead us back to the shortcut that we opened just before the boss. Uh, to our left here, there's a ladder.
And we're just going to follow this left. What's right? I think there's an item hanging off the edge here, actually. There it is. Smithing Stone 5. So this door directly ahead of us will just take us back to the Grace. Uh, so we'll be taking that a little bit. Uh, a few more minutes. Alright, grab the golden nine, the rune nine, whatever's. Come over here, we have a big wolf. Shut up. And one of these things. Oh, well, I was lucky, because he's pretty hefty. I should get out Bloodhound's Fang. Oh, these banished knights are nasty, man. You'd kill me, oh lord. Got him. Just. Those guys freak me out. It's very hit or miss whether you're going to win or not. Luckily, this part is optional. Um, I don't actually think there's anything up here. Oh, there's this thing. Stone sword key. So, I mean, you know, yay. Miss anything? No. Yeah, so that's just going to take us back to where we were. Alright, down the ladder. Through the church, and now I'm going to rest at the grace. Alright, so from the grace, you want to exit and turn left through the church and through here. So if we look up to the corner here, there's that corpse. We pulled the item off. Um, the grace is behind this door, but for some reason these doors don't open. So, I mean, you know. Uh, to the right here, we have another side path. I feel like the, um, the small cur curved swords work better for the littler enemies and the big swords work for the bigger enemies. Um, this is a path that we're going to take in a second, however we can't get back up if we take that yet. So we're going to come around here, take out a double claymore dude. This guy killed me so many times, man. Oh, this is why. Holy crap. Oh lord. Yeah, so he is just a whole bunch of dangerous. Oh my lord, yeah. <laughs> and I was on the wrong item trying to heal and stuff. It did not work. How are we for time? We're actually making pretty good time on this. Oh, go away, Archer. Okay, round two. I'm not even bothered if I lose my souls at this point. Oh, your combos are so heavy. If we can get him in a bit of a stun lock, I'm pretty sure we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. And done, done, done. Grab our souls, and our reward for that guy is... This. Cerulean Amber Medallion. We're never going to use it, but hey, you've got it now. So, coming on up. I 
And we're going to jump down here. You can see the arches on the other side. It's kind of good about Nebula. You just kill him like that. He dropped something, but meh. Uh, actually, can we get out there? Uh, yeah, we can. Um, I don't think it's going to be worth it, but we can. Uh, well, I was going to say I won't get it because I can't get back up, but um, we did anyway, so... Right, the rune arc. How did I miss that? Where am I? Oh, I see. This is just where we would have come down if we had taken that ladder. Whole bunch of rats. Dude. Oh my lord. Unorganized. That's what that was. Ah, but I get my runes. Okay, well that's fine. I'm not going to go down there just for one item. Oh, you know what? I've said that, but I have to. I really do. My insides are like, there's, a, there's an item right there. You don't know what it is because you didn't write this down in prep. So, yeah, got to do it. Alright, I'm going to take all these guys from the doorway. Should have done that to begin with. We have a smithing seven, so uh, three of them, so really not bad. Um, Alright, so Church of the Eclipse. Just warp on back to save us a little bit more time because we've wasted enough as it is. Alright, now right here, you either want a bow or even kukris should do enough. Alright, and these guys right here, if you use your lock on because you can't see them, um, they will summon up a whole bunch of bullcrap if you get close enough. So, I would strongly recommend taking these guys out. Alright, so there was one there, and there's one right up the top there. So if we just creep along this ledge, hopefully he doesn't aggro. I mean, eventually we can just run past them anyways. Like, this is probably going to be the easiest way to the boss, even though there's a shortcut right next to him. Uh, it's definitely the easiest run. So, send the shortcut on down. Now, this is Commander Neil. He's going to drop probably my favorite armor in the game. Uh, well, at least you can purchase it at the round table hold anyways. There's a couple of items that will make this easier. However, I'm not going to bother with that. All I'm going to do is simply um, chuck a rune arc on. Uh, I would suggest... The dual set that I've got now for the mimic, I might change to uh, the dual great swords. I'm not sure, but anyway, the basic gist of this fight is that he summons two helpers. They're those big guys um, that we had trouble with. I think one's a double claymore, the other one's a shield dude. You want to take out the summons first. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, just when he does his big AOE attacks get as much distance between you and that as possible. Alright. So yeah, there's a couple of items you can get that make these guys fight for you. I think that's kind of cool, but of course um, I am useless with that sort of stuff. So I'm pretty good with the heads-on approach. So 
So this is the AOE that you want to get distance from. Alright, now that it's just Commander Neil and the Mimic and I. Distance, there we go. Oh damn it, I ran straight into it. I think I'm going to go for the, the Curved Greatswords approach on this. Ooh. Hefty little bugger. Oh lord, don't kill me. Oh, did he kill me? Yeah, he did. Okay, so approach number two. So definitely going to go for the, um, the dual clan war dude first because he seemed easier to take out. Cool, and the shield guy. Oh lord, that was difficult. There we go. That attack is so annoying. Really like his armor though. Did that way too early. Lightning foot? I've never seen him do that. Oh, okay. Fine then, dude. I'm not even touching him because he's just stepping that little bit out of bounds. Come on, before the Mimic dies. Yeah, we got a... There we go. So, Veterans, Prosthesis, which I believe is his foot, but I'm pretty sure it's a fist weapon for us. Um, anyways, two attempts. That, that guy's... Honestly, I found him so hard the first time I fought him, but um, he's not the worst, I must admit. Uh, so where are we going? We want to come up this way. I cannot remember if there's an item this way. I don't think there is. Nope. Up the elevator. And around to the top here. Isn't there an item around here somewhere? I always thought there was an item around that bin. That's fine. Um, in that case, we will go over here. Grab the Halig Tree Secret Medallion left and talk to the spirit. Okay, I don't actually think you have to talk to the spirit. Um, anyways, the Halig Tree Medallion is in the key items, I believe. This one. So we got the right side uh, from all the way back in Leonia. So if you come under this area here, there's actually a poison area. You go to the village of the Albanurix. If you've been following the war through, you would already have this by now. Um, we got it from a dude that was dressed up in a pot in a corner over here-ish. Uh, and yeah, he was telling us all about it. Then we talked to the wolf lady. So yeah, that's the other half of that. That is going to get us to the uh, the rest of the snow fields over here. Um, so that's it for Castle Soul. I'm going to go grab that guy's armor because I really like it. Uh, also, probably going to level up. 
Um, received, so I want the veteran's armor. And I'm not going to waste souls on the helmet just because, sorry, I'm not going to waste runes on the helmet just because I haven't been wearing a helmet this whole time. Um, as you can see, it is, uh, it's only less, less, uh, in holy and fire. But I mean, that's still alright, it's better in versus strike. See, so, yeah, I just like it, I think it's cool. And we're still at medium load, so that's fine. So, yep, yeah, we've got a big fluffy cape. Loving it. Um, so, we are going this way. Okay, uh, so thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I will see you here next time.